very good afternoon to you. James Preston with you on Calkine TV and welcome to the Stocks in Action show. In today's edition we'll take a look at the latest updates from lithium player Argosy Minerals. Australian multinational contractor Simic Group and transport fuel importer and distributor Z Energy amongst others. But let's begin by taking a look at Telix Pharmaceuticals. Shares of the ASX listed healthcare company Telix Pharmaceuticals were trading down on Tuesday as the company received a 12.1 million Aussie dollar research and development tax refund for its eligible R&D activities undertaken by the company in the year ending on the 31st of December 2020. Telix also shared that its application for an expanded overseas finding to enable partial recovery of essential overseas R&D expenditure has been accepted by the Department of Industry, Science, Energy and Resources. Telix has received an advance finding concerning its proposed preclinical, clinical, manufacturing and regulatory related activities on the 3rd of August 2018. Accordingly, it has allowed the company to claim a research and development tax rebate on eligible R&D investment up to a gross amount of 55.2 million Aussie dollars over five years. Additionally, the approved expansion of the advance finding will allow Telix to claim a further R&D tax rebate or deduction up to a gross amount of 139 million Aussie dollars from the current year through to December 31st, 2027. Moving on now to Origin Energy Integrated, which uh, integrated its energy company Origin Energy shares were up on Tuesday after the company shared that Origin Investee Octopus Energy tripled its shares as an investor, acquiring 7% in interest. Since Origin Energy investment in May 2020, Octopus Energy has emerged in the energy sector. Origin Energy's plan to invest an additional $70 million into the UK energy regulator Octopus after Generation Investment Management invested $397 million Aussie dollars into the company. The deal with leading sustainable investor Generation Investment Management invests £211 million to acquire approximately 7% of the company's shares, valued at more than $5.6 billion Aussie dollars, about three times the value of Octopus that has put in itself, which has brought origin to its original $500 million stake in May of last year. The energy company's move was designed to hold its 20% stake in Octopus after GIM acquired a 7% stake. Octopus's total UK customer base now holds approximately 5.3 million energy accounts, comprising of around 9.5% of the UK market, while Origin expects Octopus to continue its rapid expansion. GIM will have an option to double its stake in Octopus, with Origin having an option to invest to maintain its 20% share if GIM exercises its option. Octopus expects around 470 million Aussie dollars in licensing revenue over the next three years based on its latest Kraken tech platform while also developing future energy products and services including the decarbonisation of heat, smart meters and electric vehicle leasing and charging. Origin noted that Octopus will use the investment to accelerate its growth strategy focused on international expansion of technology, licensing and energy retail including innovative customer solutions such as electric vehicle charging, and leasing capabilities and electric heat pump services. Octopus is an energy retailer and also a provider of tech and software, licensing its proprietary platform Kraken to leading energy retailers worldwide. The strategic partnership with Octopus will help Origin achieve an unex- unexpected 100 to 150 million Aussie dollars of cash benefits from financial year 2024. The next news covers oil and gas exploration and production company Beach Energy. In a milestone agreement, Beach has signed a heads of agreement with British Petroleum, or BP, for 3.75 million tonnes of Beach's shares of expected LNG volumes from Waitsia Gas Project Stage 2, targeting final sales and purchasing agreements in the second half of the 2022 financial year. Beach Energy mentioned that it would maintain a conservative balance sheet with net gearing expected to peak at less than 10% in the 2022 financial year. The company's liquidity increased to 650 million Aussie dollars following a successful refinancing and upsizing of revolving debt facilities to 600 million Aussie dollars. Beach Energy has targeted material stable free cash flow from eight gas plants by financial year 2024. Additionally, its surplus cash flows would drive capital management 
optionality. Shares of Beach Energy were trading up on Tuesday as the company released its 2021 investor update outlining its low-risk strategy targeting production of 28 million barrels of oil equivalent in financial year 2024. Beach Energy has also completed drilling at Geograph 4 and 5, which is a subsea area. Both wells intersected reservoirs in line with pre-drill expectations. Its growth is completely funded and delivered through development projects already in the execution phase. And now it's time for a very short break on Cowkine TV. Stay tuned for more training updates on the Stocks in Action show. Hi there, James Preston for Cowkine TV. Are you into gaming and virtual reality? Does AI and the endless possibilities it entails capture your interest? Or are you constantly trawling through the web to try and discover the latest updates and innovations in the tech space? Well, let us do the work for you. From the latest product launches to shocking affairs on the World Wide Web, exclusive interviews and information about the top companies like Apple and Google to brand new tech startups vying for your attention. Calkind's Tech Beat has the latest in what matters in the world of technology. Join me every single Thursday on The Tech Beat, exclusive to Calkind TV. Thanks for joining us on Cowkine TV. I'm James Preston and it's great to have your company for the Stocks in Action show where we bring you all the major news from major market players. Let's continue with mining and civil construction company NRW. Shares of NRW were trading up on Tuesday as the company announced an updated contract award valuing 40 million Aussie dollars to Primero Group for the engineering, procurement and construction of the Finesse Lithium Process Plant for Core Lithium situated in the Northern Territory near Darwin. Primero Group is a wholly owned subsidiary of NRW Holdings with a focus on engineering, procurement and construction. According to today's announcement, the project will begin soon and is fully funded with site works planned to commence in March 2022 with the commissioning of the facility due to commence in October 2022. Primero's award status has been updated from the initial preferred status awarded in 2019 and it continues the long-standing relationship in the, de in the project's development with the Core Lithium team and allows on from the successful delivery of their definitive feasibility study and subsequent study updates. And to wrap up the Stocks in Action show, let's take a look at the ASX-listed Singapore-based telecom business, Tuas. Shares of Tuas were trading up on Tuesday as the company shared its financial results for the period from March 11, 2020 to July 31, 2021. Revenue grew month on month throughout the reporting period to 34.3 million Aussie dollars, representing an increase of approximately 30 million Aussie dollars since the interim results published in October 2020. Tuas reported an EBITDA loss for the full reporting period of 2.4 million Aussie dollars. However, TPG Singapore, the operational business of the group, maintained strong subscriber and revenue growth through the reporting period and achieved positive earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation and amortisation of $900,000 for the 12 months to July 31st, 2021. It's continued to track positively into the first quarter of this financial year. TPT Singapore is continuing positively into the first quarter of the 2022 financial year. Subscriber growth has been a key positive for the company. In the 11 months since September, TPG Singapore tripled its subscription base. TPG Singapore will also complete its 4G rollout by the end of this calendar year. Well, that's a wrap for the Stocks in Action today. Make sure to keep watching Kalkine TV for live trending market updates and the latest business insights. I'm James Preston, reporting for Kalkine.